Hello friends, myself Dr. Deepak Kumar Devedi, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, DAV College, Kanpur Nagar. Uh, today, my topic is geological distribution of animals and uh, geological time scale. So, you know, the distribution of animal and uh, plants in time is an important as their distribution in space. So, let's go. So, in geological distribution of animal, we, you know, we will study the term and other eras, that is geological time scale. And uh, there is a construction of time scale and naming its unit, a term in this field, and it is known as stratigraphy. Stratigraphy is what? It is the construction of time scale and name, naming its unit. Now, it is concerned with the uh, composition, arrangement, and correlation of the rock layer of the earth crust and uh, what is the uh, geological time scale or GTS? It is a system of chronological dating that classifies geological strata that is stratigraphy in time. So it is used by geologists, paleontologists and other earth scientists to describe the timing and relationship of events in geologic history. The primary and largest catalog division of time is a period and these are known as eons. This is the largest division of time. So the first eon was uh, Hadean when the earth and moon were formed and which lasted 600 million years until the Archean when the earth had cooled enough for continents and the earliest known life to emerge. So after 2.5 billion years, oxygen generated by organism appeared in the atmosphere marking the beginning of the Proterozoic time. And finally, the Phanerozoic eon encompasses 541 million years of diverse abundance of multicellular life starting with the appearance of hard animal shells in the fossil record and continuing to the present. So, here you can see in the diagram, this is the table which shows eon, era, period and epoch. Eons, these are divided into eras, which are in turn divided into periods, epochs, and ages. And the first three eons, that is all but the Phanerozoic, they can be referred to collectively as Pre Cambrian Super Eon. Right? So this is in reference to the significance of the Cambrian explosion, a massive diversification of multicellular life forms that uh, took place in the Cambrian period at the start of the Phanerozoic. So corresponding to eons, eras, periods, epochs and ages, the term Eonothem, then Erathem, system, series, stages, uh, these terms are used to refer to the layers of rock that belong to these regions uh, of geologic time in Earth's history. So these are the eon uh, where you can see this, this is the younger, so in this order. So Hadean, Archean, Proterozoic, Phanerozoic. Phanerozoic is again divided into uh, three eras. That is Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic, and these eras are further divided into periods and these periods into epochs.
so here you can see that this is the super ion that is free cambrian and uh, you know that uh, super ion this is super ion then uh, ion hadian archean and proterozoic so pre cambrian is divided into ion hadian archean proterozoic and then archean is you know eoarchean paleoarchean mesoarchean and neoarch then proterozoic into paleoproterozoic mesoproterozoic and neoproterozoic and then phanerozoic is divided into you know that uh, paleozoic mesozoic and cenozoic so these are the division of the uh, geological time scale now giovanni abduvanna 1760 the developed first uh, geologic time scale and the geologic time scale is divided into eon is the largest division of time and uh, it is further divided into major divisions eras and eras are subdivided into periods which are further divided subdivided into more shorter intervals epochs that is age shorter than epochs you know the super eon this is the pre cambrian then eons these are three number 1 hadian archean and proterozoic now the fourth eon that is phanerozoic is further divided into paleozoic era mesozoic era and cenozoic era that phanerozoic is divided into three eras Paleozoic number one, number two Mesozoic, and number three Cenozoic. Paleozoic era it is uh, commonly known as cradle of ancient life, and you know it began about six uh, hundred million years ago, and its uh, duration. was about 370 million years and uh, you know geological conditions the were you know it is uh, in this actually the periods of rising land and with the warmer conditions so here you can see that uh, paleozoic era is uh, divided further divided into six period this is a very important period and uh, you know in paleozoic era actually all the major invertebrate phyla are represented and uh, fossils of the first vertebrate appeared late in this era so first of all we will you know <coughs> study cambrian period that is first period and uh, its uh, duration was 100 million years and uh, you know it's a uh, you know geologic conditions uh, when mild climate and high level seas with low lying areas were there and uh, the oldest period of this uh, you know that is cambrian period this has been named the cambrian and it was proposed by adam sedgwick in 1835 that uh, it is taken from cambria that is the roman name for the city of wales so it this uh, uh, cambrian period is characterized by the dominance of trilobites and uh, which are uh, which were 50% then brachiopods 10 to 20% and then and remainder include protozoans sponges worms gastropods echinoderms cephalopods etc this is the one of the important event in this cambrian period sudden increase in diversity of many phyla that it is known as cambrian explosion this phenomena is known as cambrian explosion 
so is what which happened in this period you can see the picture that is a typical trilobites of the cambrian seas these are the trilobites that is arthropods now ordovician period number 2 is ordovician period and this ordovician period uh, it was actually name was proposed by charles lapworth and on the name of ordo vices an ancient tribe inhabiting wales so during this period actually this uh, its duration was about 75 million years right and uh, in this period the continents were lowered even more than in cambrian and uh, you know climate uh, its a climate was warm uniform temperature there was no climatic and uh, it was characterized uh, by the appearance of first fishes probably which was fresh water then corals trilobites were abundant in this time mollusks were dive, you know they they diversified and you know uh, first traces of vertebrate that is osteoecoderms were found in this period this is one of the important event in the ordovician period and uh, you know that uh, gastropods were abundant and varied but uh, they were found in a very poor state of preservation pelecypods were abundant in the late ordovician so this is all about ordovician period now next is silurian period and its duration was 20 million years and uh, it is uh, you know it was proposed by mursichan in uh, 1835 to designate the rocks on the border of the wales and england so you know actually it is characterized by the rise in fishes marine arachnids uh, which were which were dominant and first wingless insects and decline of nautilid cephalopods and trilobites this is the silurian period right so in this uh, actually uh, the climate uh, were mild and it was mild and diverse desert conditions Uh, prevailed in some areas so next period is devonian period and uh, its duration was about 60 million years and it is regarded as the age of fishes and in this placoderms abundant first amphibians uh, appeared then lung fishes sharks were abundant uh, first land vertebrate labyrinthodon so uh, its name that is devonian uh, was proposed by sedwick and murchison in 1839 after the name devonshire england where it was first studied its climate was warm and temperate so you know is uh, known as age of fishes now next is next period is mississippian period and its duration was about 25 million years and uh, in this sharks abundant it's characterized by abundance of sharks and amphibians were common and flying insects also became established cetaceans further differentiated so this is the mississippian period which is uh, you know also very important uh, period of carboniferous era or time now next 
period is Penisylvanian period and its duration was about 40 years and it is regarded as the age of amphibians and you know first reptile Tylosaurs that is a stem reptile appeared in this time. Seymoria which is most primitive reptile it, it appeared in this time and in place in the freshwater habitat. So this is the Penicillin period. So Penicillin period actually it was uh, derived from the its name derived from the state of Pennsylvania, where the rocks of this period were first and this period is famous for great deposits of coal and the name Pennsylvanian was first used by H.S. William. So this is all about for uh, Pennsylvanian. Now next is Permian period and Permian period lasted uh, for what 50 million years 50 million years and it is characterized by the rise of modern insects mammal like reptile and therapsid were all widespread in this time and uh, you know that uh, Permian actually uh, this period was named uh, magician in 18 41. So its uh, climate varied from a desert uh, to warm and humid conditions were there. And uh, you know, life due to widespread climatic and geographic change occurred in this end of the Permian period. It forced the organism to adapt themselves to new changing environment. So next uh, era is Mesozoic era, which is the era of intermediate life. Very important. And it is, uh, you know, uh, it has been called the age of reptiles because of the large number of reptiles that ruled in this era. So it is uh, further divided into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. Now, first is Triassic period, and the, it's a name that is Triassic was given by F. Von Alberti, and its uh, duration was about 50 million years. And it is characterized by the spread and dominance of reptile and changing of molluscan group into more modern types. And this first primitive mammal appeared. Triassic period actually, its name was given by. Uh, German geologist was he was a German geologist geologist sorry and uh, you know uh, it's a climate was warm and temperate over great areas of earth so in this Triassic period actually this it is characterized by the dominant and spread of the reptiles such as phytosaurs and crocodile like reptiles, ichthyosaurs, which is fish like reptile, and plesiosaurs, that is turtle like reptile. So these uh, the characters. Next, Jurassic period, and the name Jurassic was used by A. von Helbold, Humboldt, and uh, its duration was about 45 million years. Here you can see this is the picture of Mesozoic era. It is characterized by the dinosaurs, then Archaeopteryx, fossil bird, then Ramphorhynchus, flying reptiles. So these are the some animals of this time. And it is this Jurassic period is characterized by the appearance of first toot bird toothed bird remember and uh, you know in first tooth bird was archaeopteryx archaeopteryx was the first tooth bird and marsupial mammals also uh, appeared marsupial mammals that is kangaroo possum 
which uh, have uh, marsupium a pouch which young bungs are kept so the most remarkable development was in cephalopod so in this jurassic period actually it has been also called the age of cycads such as zingo uh, appeared in this uh, time and it, it, they appeared in permian but it became abundant in this jurassic so uh, arthropods are represented by lobster crab ostracods and insects and echinoderms by modern crinoids and sea urchin so this is, was the jurassic time which is the age basically age of reptiles now next is cretaceous period and its duration was about 72 million years and uh, you know in this uh, time you know creta means chalk and it which characterizes the calcareous cretaceous rocks all over the world and its name was given by j j dolmus de holly in 1882 and uh, you know it's a climate that is climate of cretaceous period was somewhat cooler than the jurassic period so in cretaceous period actually extinction of the uh, dinosaurs started and first modern bird appeared uh, while toothed bird disappeared in this uh, period first placental mammals also appeared so this was the mesozoic era now next is cenozoic era which is uh, known as age of mammal so in this time you can see that this cenozoic era is divided into three periods and these periods are paleogene the neogene and quaternary period so paleogene period it is divided into paleocene epoch then eocene epoch oligocene epoch and neogene period is divided into miocene epoch pliocene epoch and quaternary period is divided into two epochs and these are the pleistocene epoch and holocene epoch so basically uh these cenozo this uh, cenozoic era it uh, began 70 million years ago about 70 million years ago and it is the shortest of the geological era and its uh, name actually it is derived from greek word kainos that is recent so recent life and it is known as age of mammal it is uh, also characterized by the great adaptive radiation in birds development of most modern uh, species you know, of invertebrate animals and you know in this actually miocene epoch is the main age of this is the age of mammal uh, actually in this epoch miocene this uh, climate become cold and you know ungulates rodents elephants bat uh, carnivores sirenian whales dolphin these all animals were spread out so primates also radiated during miocene time so this is actually known as the uh, uh, age of mammal and you know in this uh, when man appeared actually it appeared in this time that is quaternary period and especially in this epoch and uh, you know that uh, in pliocene epoch this epoch this is you know in this ground sloths were common in southern united states so you know australopithecus it appeared in first of all pliocene epoch 
but in recent that is the quaternary period pleistocene it is the age of ice also and you know uh, pleistocene is ice age and uh, in this actually the glacial deposits of central and western europe it contained the woolly rhinoceros mammoth lemming reindeer arctic foxes and moles so it was the time of gigantic mammals such as mammoth and mastodon which uh, are uh, you know ex exterminated due to climatic changes and also by man that is by stone weapons and by burning forests so this was the geological distribution of animals please like share subscribe my channel and select all to get my videos thank you very much